Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery. It's a beautiful Monday morning, September 19th, 2022. It's a wonderful opportunity to get together with our distribution partners each weekday morning at this time to talk strategies, tips, techniques, share success stories. Today, we're going to talk about how to close more deals by possibly just framing the proposition slightly differently. Now, this could be used for bringing on clients if you're a white label partner. It could be used for bringing on white label partners slightly differently, of course, in, in terms of the conditional statement, if you're a regional vice president. So we're going to focus on how to use this approach to bring on clients as our, our primary topic today. So our topic is using conditional statements to close deals. So a conditional statement has two parts. It's an if-then type of statement. Why is this important? We see some of you working really hard, but not generating the results that you could or you should. And so it could very well be the way that you're introducing the proposition to the prospects. So ultimately, if you can't show them what the value proposition is, why they should enroll, they probably won't. So it doesn't matter how badly you want them to enroll or how much money that you want to make by enrolling people, they need to see what the value proposition is. And the simpler that you can make that, the more people that will enroll. Now, granted, there's two approaches here. One approach is to get your online terms and conditions. You've got a landing page and you're just driving people to the landing page and you're not talking to anyone. So if that's the case, then the value proposition needs to be stated very clearly on your landing page. Scott Stroud, our chief marketing officer, can help you with that if you're wanting to go the automated approach. If you're not looking to use a landing page with online terms and conditions, then you need to be able to communicate that. And so I think the easiest conditional statement to use for closing participants in the capital raise program is this. And obviously, you want to say it with confidence. If you enroll in the guaranteed financing program, you are going to receive at least $100,000 to start or grow a business. So let's pause for a moment and, and, and think about that. So we're showing them an if then. If you enroll in the guaranteed financing program, you are going to get funding. Now, that's probably a more professional and appropriate way than flipping it. Because if, if, if this is true, what's the opposite? The opposite is, hey, if you don't enroll, you probably aren't going to get any funding. Well, that, that's a bit of, of um, an extrapolation that we don't want to make. We don't want to offend people. So instead, if you enroll, you know, you know that you're going to get at least 100000 We promise it. We guarantee it. It's in right. Now, if you use that as, as the statement to close, you, you'll have many people that will say, well, how's that going to happen? Or that sounds too good to be true. Or how do I know this is legitimate? So the way that we overcome that is using the pictorial. We've shared this with you previously. This is a little grainy because I copied and pasted it from an Adobe into this document, but uh, you, you all have this or you should have this. We've had training on it. We have an eight minute version of this that describes to the client from their perspective, we did a 30 minute or so training for each of you that are distribution partners describing this. So this isn't an introduction, but the point is, this is the conditional statement, and then this is how you back it up. It describes the how, how it is that we're going to be able to accomplish that. So I'll walk you through it briefly, just so we have it all in this recorded training. So we've made a very strong pitch. If you enroll, you will get at least 100000 to start or grow a business. I do understand that some people have different capital requirements. Like I'm working with Timothy. I talked to him even recently is this morning. Timothy is needing multiple millions of dollars to buy a casino and a hotel in Florida. 
this is different than the casino deal we're working in Vegas, by the way. So he, he needs lots and lots of money. 100,000 is not what he needs. So certainly what you could do is if you wanted to edit this conditional statement for someone that's looking for a larger capital raise is you could phrase it slightly differently. Instead, you would say, if you enroll in the guaranteed financing program, you are going to receive funding to start or grow a business. So in some cases, the specific dollar amount helps, especially if, if that seems to be consistent with their capital raise needs. And, and once, if you have someone that's wanting a whole lot more than that, you may want to slightly edit this statement and leave out the dollar amount. But that, that is the dollar amount we guarantee. Now, if they want more and they need more, we'll work with them. I'm working with Timothy on raising, I think it's $5 million. He needs a lot more than 100,000 to just get his project going. So we're not saying this is a cap. All right, so then in terms of the how, let's just briefly walk through. So let's say I've got a prospect. We'll say I have, um, we have cat, cats on the line. So cat's interested in, in getting capital to start or grow a business. Somehow she found out about me, whether it be through a Craigslist ad or, or I bought a leads list she was on. However, we connected, that, that's not our topic today. And so I'd say, well, Kat, great news. If you enroll in the guaranteed financing program, you are going to receive at least $100,000 to start or grow a business. Isn't that awesome? And Kat's probably gonna say, well, how would that happen? So here we go to that that part of our discussion. I'd say, well, Kat, I'm glad you asked that. So essentially, and, and I want her to see this, right? So either I'm sitting with Kat or I've texted her a picture of this or I emailed her a picture of this. Maybe I sent her the eight minute video, but I want Kat to see this. Kat's smart, but most people need to see it as well as hear it. Now they can just hear the conditional statement because it, it's so clear. But in terms of how it's going to happen, we really want, in this case, we want Kat to see this pictorial. So we need to get it to the, the prospect. It could be sent as a video or just an image. But let's say I just sent her the image. I said, okay, Kat, let me describe how this works. We guarantee you, Kat, guarantee you in writing, we promise, we deliver at least $100,000 to start or grow a business. You're asking how that's going to happen. Let me describe. So one of the, the three elements, Kat, that we focus on in the top right-hand corner here is building financial literacy. And Kat, I know you're smart and you probably know all this already, but we do want to make sure that you know how to look at this capital raise in the view that the lenders look at you. So it, it's looking through their eyes because they're the ones that uh, they have the capital we're seeking to get. So we have a, a great curriculum that addresses business planning, business credit, financial reporting, banking, and money. Frankly, Kat, if you don't wanna go through that, you don't have to, but it, it, it's great for you to have the mindset and understand how lenders are looking at you for approval. Make sense? Okay. Second thing we're gonna do, Kat, here in the bottom right-hand corner, is put together your loan package. And, and maybe that's familiar to you or not, but that's, that's the documentation. We need to pull together the documentation that's needed to present to the lender. So it tells the story. How much capital do you need? What are you going to use it for? We want to have the financial projections that show you can afford to pay it back. So that's the second thing that is needed, Kat, that we're going to help you with. And then the third, which is on the left-hand side here, is we're going to make sure that you're credible enough on paper to get approved. Because different sources of capital have different underwriting criteria. So we're going to figure out what the right source of capital is based upon your mitigating circumstances. And then we're going to make sure that you're strong enough on paper. And the three C's include credit, which can be business and personal, capacity, in other words, showing that we have the ability to repay the money that we want to borrow, also incorporates, do we have the, the documented liquidity? And then collateral. Now, Kat, don't worry. Not all sources of capital look at all three, of the, all three of the Cs. Some only look at one. Some look at two. Some only look at business credit. Some only look at personal credit. Some don't look at credit at all. So don't worry about those details yet. By putting together your loan package, we'll understand 
your capital raise needs specifically and then guide you in the right type of capital that matches up to your circumstances. If we should find that there's some sort of gaps or, or, or issues, then we can help you address credibility. So any, any of these three can be addressed. If credit's not so good, we can, for instance, build your Dun & Bradstreet. If your capacity doesn't look too good, let's say that you don't have the documented liquidity that the lender might wanna see, we can legally and ethically um, address that, not a concern. From a, a collateral perspective, if we don't have enough collateral and if the lender requires it, we can add assets to your balance sheet. So we, we can help you with these three C's. Don't, don't worry about that. But that is the answer, Cap, to your question is, you know, how in the world are, are we promising you this capital raise? Well, we're going to help you understand how everything works. We're going to get your loan packaged. We're going to build credibility for approval. And the end result is you get funding. So kind of end a role play there. So what I'd like is, is the feedback from each of you that, that's on our webinar today. What, what are your thoughts about this approach? So once you've generated the client, you need them to very easily understand why they should enroll. If you enroll in the Guaranteed Financing Program, you will get at least $100,000 to start or grow a business. That, that's powerful, right? So they know it's an if-then statement. It's called a conditional statement. The reverse is kind of true as well. If you don't enroll, you aren't going to get $100,000, at least not through our program. And then most likely they'll say, well, that sounds pretty powerful. How's that going to happen? And then this pictorial is an easy way, kind of going clockwise around, starting with the financial literacy, letting them know it's available, but not forced upon them, explaining why a loan package is important and just giving them a little bit of information about what's included in it, and then talking about the three C's. All right, so Alfred, Bernard, Charles, Collis, Dawood, Ernest, Frankie, Jeanette, Jose, Cap, Juan, Pauline, others, but 212 of you on today can't read all the names off. What questions do any of you have regarding this approach, this approach to closing more participants? Because if you're not closing at least eight a month, then you know that you're not meet, meeting your potential. You're, you're not doing really what we set out to do. We should be helping at least two clients per week on average, eight a month. First, you need the leads. Today's discussion isn't about lead generation. That's frankly very easy. Once you have the lead, then we need to communicate the value proposition and get them enrolled. One of two ways, use online terms and conditions. You can create that yourself. Scott Stroud can create it for you. And the bottom line is then they, they see the value proposition and they enroll automatically. If you're not using online terms and conditions, not using a landing page, then this is more of, of your responsibility to explain to them. So questions, comments, concerns on this. Ernest brings up a, a good point and, and it's correct. So, so, so let, let's be the devil's advocate for a minute. So if someone signs up in the guaranteed financing program, will they receive $100,000 tomorrow? Well, we didn't say that, did we? We didn't. And the agreement doesn't say that. And, and we don't want them to have false pretenses of, of that. So what we're saying is true. The details of how of the agreement is, is in the, the contract itself. So of course, we don't want to say anything that's inconsistent with the contract. I'm not saying that, but, but we're not reading the contract to them. That's not the way the world works. We're, we're not pulling out the contract and saying, okay, give us, give us some time and we're going to read to you every line of the agreement. You know, they're responsible adults. So we're introducing the proposition. We're clearly showing them the, the value proposition. If they enroll, then they will receive at least 100,000. But, but no, we're, we're not saying you're gonna get 100,000 tomorrow. I, I guess hypothetically, they might. It's, it's possible, but it's not probable. It's, it's not what we're promising. And also we're painting a realistic picture of how this works. 
For example, the, the gentleman I'm working with on the casino and hotel purchase in Florida that I mentioned earlier, Tim, great guy, great guy, smart guy. But you know, you're going to run into some people that have none of the three C's. They have no credit worthiness. They have no ability to repay the debt and they have no collateral. So what, what happens then? What happens then if, if someone doesn't qualify? Well, will Tim qual because Tim wants it by Friday of this week, five days from now. What happens if, if Tim doesn't qualify? Well, two things. What we're promising to do without question is to work with the client to help them get at least a hundred thousand. We've promised that. We, 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 we're committed to that. We're contractually obligated to that. They're starting wherever they start based upon their life circumstances and, 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 and decisions. And we're going to help them get from where they're at to where they need to be to get at least a hundred thousand. So uh, we, we are committed to that. Now, what needs to be done for, for Tim to qualify to buy his casino and hotel or for any other client? Don't really know at the, off, at the onset. We're going to have to build enough of the loan package to get our arms around where we're going and then start matching that to the right funding source and seeing all across the three C's, how does that package work? And so that, that's why we collect the refundable deposit up front, because work has to be done. It's not so simple that they just sign up and apply for funding and get funded the next day. That there's, there's thought, there's intellectual capital, there's preparation that has to go into it. And at the most basic level, it's like, well, what type of funding should we go after? I was talking to a, another client this morning and he said on, on his application, he said he wanted real estate financing. Great. But he did not have real estate, any real estate property identified. Well, that's a problem, right? We can't go get real estate financing if we don't know what real estate we're wanting to buy. That, that It doesn't work like that. Now, can we get a working capital loan? What's called business financing? Sure. But with that being said, there, there's a process. So it's, it's credible. We guarantee it. The more educated your client is, the better off we are. They're going to have access to the financial literacy, but they're not. we're, we're not going to require them to go through it. It's up to you if you want to require them to go through it. All right. So Jeanette says she's going to use a landing page. And again, you, you don't have to use landing pages, but landing pages makes a lot of sense for two reasons. It takes the burden off of you in terms of communicating the proposition and being available to present the, the proposition at the time that the prospect wants to communicate. It's, it's available 24 seven. And then secondly, it provides the terms and conditions so they can click on it, agree, and sign up right there. So the landing page makes all the sense in the world, but you don't have to do uh, the landing page. All right, so we got a couple other comments. Collis is asking how long, and, and that's a great question. It, it will vary. So, but I wanna answer Collis's question. I don't wanna dismiss it. So I'm gonna break it into three categories. How long will it take someone to go through the financial literacy curriculum? Well, we used to have it set up and it took 28 days, a module a week. Now we've, we've contracted with a third party company. They do it in four days. So the answer, Collis, to your question is if, if you want them to go through the, the on-demand curriculum, which is free, it's four days to build their financial literacy foundation. But they don't even have to do that. So four days, if they want to do this, if they don't want to do this, it takes zero days to build the loan package. We need to gather documentation from them, at least enough to get some frame of reference of where we're going. There, there's really no reason that this area, I guess this bottom ball here would be the easiest way to describe, should take more than a week, seven days. Now, it may be that the loan package needs to be more developed and more complicated, but initially to get enough to work with, to, to see where we're going less than a week. But, but it, it could very well, if, if the client's receptive, it could be 24 hours, call us. 
As far as credibility building, there, there isn't an answer to your good question for that, because what we want to do is match the client to the right type of capital based upon their mitigating circumstances. And so we don't want to pick something that they're farthest away from being qualified for. We want to pick something that they're most qualified for. And Collis, they may qualify for right now. So, so there is no building of the three C's. We, we understand enough where they're going, they're credible enough, and we apply for funding. Uh, if they're not qualified, then we need to work on fixing. How long does it take us to fix documented liquidity? About 24 hours with the collateral support program. How long does it take to build out collateral if they need it? About 24 hours, the collateral support program. So from a time perspective, you can see that there's there's a different component answers, call us to how long. So let's review it. How long to go through the financial literacy curriculum? As short as zero days, because they could skip it. Four days if they do the online and it's free. Or if they want to do the traditional four week, 28 day, then of course it's 28 days. From building a loan package, let's just call it a week to get the documents back from them. I have another client I was working with again this morning. We started early on a Monday morning and uh, we were ready to, to go to funding. And she said, oh, by the way, I haven't filed my taxes yet for 2021. Now we're recording this granted on September 19th, 2022. So uh, she may have filed one or more extensions, but that's an issue. Now, do all sources of capital look at tax returns? Absolutely not. No. Do some? Yes. The type of capital raise that we were proceeding with her would probably have looked at her tax returns. So now we had to pivot. And so what I told her is we can go to funding today. We'll go to a different type of funding and we can apply for funding today. Our system shows that you should be approved for funding today. Or we need to get you compliant with the other type of funding that we were looking at for she's starting buying a franchise, starting a franchise business. So it, it's the system call us of, of we're, we're gathering data and we're pivoting when needed to get to where the client wants to be. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. Pauline's asking about the four day process. Yeah. So we contracted with Blue Revenue. They took our entire financial literacy curriculum based upon these four bullets and they knock it out online on demand in four days. It's awesome. You can send people to it. They can go through it for free, even if they've not enrolled in the program. If you wanted to use this just as a, as a, a teaser, if you will, or just as an entry point. So the financial literacy curriculum is an important part of what we do, and, and that is accessible to you and your clients. But um, Pauline, let me know if there's other questions you have on that. But it's, it's the same curriculum that we've done on these four topics, but it's compressed to an on-demand online system. Okay. All right. Jose says uh, he thinks he's doing well. And Jose, you're enrolling clients, which is awesome. Uh, but Jose says uh, he thinks he's explaining the what and the how his hurdles overcoming the loan package fee. Well, great. So let's let's talk about that. So many clients, many small business owners don't really know what a loan package is. And so they don't really give it any value, right? It's like, loan package. I don't want a fucking loan package. Well, if you want to get business funding, typically you need that because it tells the story to the lender. How much money do you need? What are you going to use it for? Documentation that we can afford to pay it back with our financial projections. Those are things that a lender needs. And so the, the first problem, Jose, is that you and, and I and all of us on, on the webinar today probably know things that a lot of clients don't. Loan package, ah, I don't want that. That sounds like a waste of time, waste of effort, but it's not, right? So that's where education comes in and helping them understand. And if you use this pictorial, they'll realize, well, that's part of the process. Now, can we go just wing out a personal loan without a loan package? Yes, yes, but that's really not our bread and butter. So that's number one. Number two is uh, some people want you to work for free. Right, they'll come to you and say, Jose, well, 
okay, so you're guaranteeing me at least $100,000. And you know, this financial literacy thing's fine. Okay, you told me I need a loan package. I didn't really realize that before, but okay, business plan and so forth. But Jose, I want you to take your ass out there, work for free. I'm not going to pay you for this shit. You work for free. You just get me money. I just want to pay nothing and get results. Think about how absurd that is. You think that they go to their accountant and say, I just want you to prepare my tax return. I'm not going to pay you for my tax return, asshole. You just do it for free. No, they wouldn't do that. Or they go to their corporate counsel and say, hey, I need you to draft this contract for me. And I'm not paying you anything, buddy. I'm not paying you any. No, of course not. Professional services have professional fees. Now, in our case, we make it almost too good to be true. We say, yeah, there's, there's a refundable deposit to build your loan package. But by the way, it's fully refundable. And also, if you need help financing it, we'll help you finance it. So I think typically the people that are going to push back most on paying for something of value Either they don't realize the if-then statement, hey, if you follow the program, you're going to get at least 100000 Yes, there's a refundable deposit to build your loan package. And yes, it's refundable. And if you want us to work out financing for you, we can work out financing for you. But you will run into people, Jose, that number one, have unrealistic expectations because they're financially illiterate. And also, they just want shit for free. I just want free. Oh, this is a loan? I've got to pay the loan back? I don't want that. I just want that free money. Just send me some free money. Oh, gosh, right? So I think you just got to be thick-skinned and understand that some people just think everything should be free and that you should work for free, right? But I bet they don't want to work for free. So if you want to work with them, though, to make this more affordable, you could say, well, you know what? I understand your concern. We, we've issued you a contract, so we've guaranteed the 100000 So we're on the hook for that. But what you're saying, client, is mm, you don't really want to have to pay anything for our staff to build your loan package. How about this? How about we split it with you? Pay half the loan package fee now and half later. And so that could be a way. A lot of times if you do what we call split billing, half now, half later, often they'll say, well, that seems fair. But if they want you to work for free, I mean, theoretically you could, right? Jose, you could say, all right, uh, prospect, um, I'll pay for your loan package fee for you. You don't have to pay anything. How does it sound? And then you just build in a larger performance fee. So you have that option. But thank you, Jose, for bringing that up. Anyone else have any questions, comments, concerns on what we've covered today? Our topic today was using conditional statements to close more deals with the emphasis that you need the prospect to know what the value proposition is, very simply. And it is quite simple. If you enroll in the guaranteed financing program, you are going to receive at least $100,000 to start or grow a business. If you do this, then you get that. And conversely, if you don't do this, then you're not going to get that. And then most of them will ask, well, how in the world is that going to happen? That sounds too good to be true, or how does it work? And, and that's why we put this pictorial together for you. We've provided this in an eight-minute video. You can have you can play for them on YouTube. We present, we put together a 30-minute training um video for you to understand how to explain this better. We just covered it today. Uh, you, you have it in a PDF format in your white label Dropbox to use. I mean, you're, you're armed and, and ready. And so then uh, there it is. If you need support, of course, you can email us, you can call us, you can text us. Who has uh, questions? comments, concerns. Okay, so if anyone does not have this pictorial, but you need it, contact support, preferably via email or text, and uh, we can make sure that it has been added to your white label Dropbox. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Anyone have any other questions regarding this approach?
helping clients very because because I think some of you are so smart that you create long drawn out explanations and people start to fade on you. People don't have, many people don't have a very long attention span. So what do you want them to know? You want them to know this. Hey, Alfred, if you enroll in the guaranteed financing program, you're going to receive at least $100,000 to start or grow a business. If you got five minutes, I'll show you exactly how this works. And then you use the pictorial or the training video. Training video, probably best. You talking, second best. Because the training video is, is consistent and doesn't take your time and doesn't take your energy it's available 24 7 can be posted on your landing page if you don't have a landing page let us know you want one scott can help you create it if you don't want scott to create your landing page create your own do you have to have a landing page absolutely not but that's a best practice because clients are, are going to want to know what's in it for me and how does this work and if you can explain that succinctly, quickly, effectively, then you're going to be in good shape. But if you can't do those things, you're probably not a very good business developer, not a very good salesperson, not a very good marketer, because those are two elements that a good salesperson, business developer, marketer would know. You need to explain the value proposition in one sentence, no more. And then you need to be able to visually show them how it works. Otherwise, they might think, oh, this is crazy. This, there's no way. There's no way, Charles, you could guarantee me $100,000. Now, I'll close on this. We have some of you that are submitting in crazy amounts of leads. Fred's one of them. Fred feeds in hundreds of clients a month, probably 20, 25 over the weekend. But what, and, and I'm not, not, uh, criticizing you, Fred, but what Fred doesn't do is he doesn't explain how it works. And so you're obviously going to have fewer enrollments. You can make this pitch, right? And the pitch is good and it's powerful and it's valid, it's legal, of course, and, and it's true. But if you don't explain how, a lot of people will tune you out. It's like, oh, this must be a scam. Just trying to get me to sign up for something for guaranteed 100,000. That, that can't be true. Well, it is true. It's factual. It's accurate, but it's understanding the how that will set their expectations in line and give them the confidence to say, oh, yeah, yeah, I should give it a try. I don't have anything to risk. Yes, and Pauline asked if we'll get the training now. All right, so thanks, everyone. We'll see you back tomorrow morning. Have a great day.